Welcome to Valley's View, WWCB Gurnos Special. I'm joining you with uh, the red team cornerman Kyle Giles and the blue team cornerman Chris Bristow, also the WWCB lightweight champ. Yeah, boy. All right, boys, how are we? Not too bad, uh, yourself. Good, good. So uh, we're, going, we're here to discuss the fights now next Saturday night mm -hmm. at the Gurnos Club. Uh, we've got uh, 10 bouts in total. For all those who bought tickets, the doors will open at uh, about 5.30 and the first fight then will be uh, around about 6.30 then. Um, and then we'll wrap it up about half past 10. So um, good good cheap booze, good atmosphere and uh, good boxing. So it should be a cracking night. Uh, so opening the card, boys, uh, we have got Mikey Aitchison returning from a long, uh, long absence, taking on a uh, local favourite, Baby Alex, who's uh, had plenty of WWCB drama in the past. Alex Thomas. So how do you see, first of all, this fight going? Uh, I'll start with Chris. Well, from, going from what I've seen from Mikey before, he's quick. He's, he's just, obviously, come in late as well as a replacement. Um, yeah, it's good. Alex is quite good as well, but has he got the gas tank for it for three rounds? But it's, that's another good 50-50 fight. I, I've got Mikey. But mm, it's going to be tight. What about you, Kyle? How do you see it going? Well, I know Alex because I've sparred Alex previous. And the thing is, whether I'm going to gas tank or not, he, he's still got that dog in him, like, so he'll push. So how, I, how is I, his power? Oh, you can hit. But the thing is, it's what you've got. It's, it all happens if, you're, if he lands it. Like, but you can hit. His power can carry him through three rounds. But he has to reserve our power and obviously throw at right times. Um, Mikey, I've seen him. He's all right. He's pretty pretty nifty. Like he's pretty. He's unpredictable, so that can work in his favour against Alex. But I personally see Alex catch. He can, that Mikey can make a mistake. Catch it. Alex will catch him, and then it just it'll completely flip everything upside down. Yeah, obviously Mikey's taken the fight on short notice. He, ha he has had, a, you know, the, the one fight he had, um, he was in there with a good boy, Dabsy, who, um, you know, he sort of improved with every bout he had, Dabsy. He was, uh, by the end, he was a really, really good boxer. And I think he was he was considering going on the amateur route. But, um, so yeah, he's, he's obviously been in there with good boys in the past. Obviously, he's taken the fight short notice, so I do worry about his fitness levels and, and whether he will last the three. But... Alex, I mean, Alex is a good boxer as well, isn't he, yeah. really? But his, fought, his first fight, was a, yeah, it was an exhibition, but it was still against Imran. Yeah, Imran's it was a very good boxer, yeah. Technically, still a se he was a seasoned fucking amateur. Yeah, yeah. And that's, I mean, it's difficult. Al it's Alex amateur. is heavy-handed as well, so... Yeah, yeah I took him on the pads and he's quite heavy-handed. Mm. He got a lot of power now, right, Dan? But then Mike, left Mikey's well. very quick, he yeah. boxes well with a jab. I, I can see both, but I can see Mikey winning mm. on points. Um, but yeah, I, I do it. think I think Alex he has to get Mikey out today really? in the first I think so, well, first or maybe early in the second yeah, I, because yeah after that they're both going to be knackered yeah. and, and Mikey could just pick him off on points yeah, just by but, um, him. yeah it's, it's going to be a good fight I um, wouldn't like to call it um, if I had to go one or the other I'd probably say Alex to dog it out but I wouldn't be surprised if Mikey won um, next up then we've got another local favourite in the red corner, Johnny Morgan, uh, or Johnny Davis as some people might know him, taking on uh, Jack Richards Webster. Uh, obviously Johnny, you've seen a lot of him now in the camp, Kyle, uh, he's impressed with his fitness, uh, his speed, his power. What, uh, yeah, well, how do you see this one going? What, what do you think? <clears throat> obviously it can come across by us because obviously he's in my corner, but... I personally see Johnny stopping Jack only because every session Johnny's turned up to, he's improved. Like, it's, I'm, I, I couldn't get over it. Like, it's from his first era spa to now, it's unbelievable like, how much he's improved. He's improved up. a lot, yeah. Like, f in such a sort of The short hand speed time. is fucking good. He's, as he's, well. But it's, for a boy his size, his hands are very quick, which is sketchy. Like, because. You don't think if you're about about him, like, but he hits like a truck. He Even like in the as well when you're trying to teach him, that he's willing to learn. Yeah, absolutely. when you're taking him. Absolutely. Yeah, he takes a lot in. Like he, you know, when he came over on a Sunday when there was only a couple over here, you could see that he was yeah he wanted to learn yeah. and he was implementing the things you you know you Chris was saying to him. 
Um, what about Jack? What have you seen from Jack that you like, Chris? He's improved since the first, the first time. It was all falling in, no balance. He's improved, but he's going to have to listen to a game plan, stick to a game plan and stick to straight long shots if he can and not get involved in a scrap, especially when all the Johnny crowd is going to be going mad. Mm. He's going to have to stick to a game plan. And if he can stick to the game plan, we can win. But if he goes down the wrong route, then Johnny... If he falls back into yeah, a rabbit, fall, yeah, falls back into the like, habits yeah. that he did. But the last couple of weeks, like Kyle went in with him and talked him through things, about a couple of things, and he done well then and impressed. He is another one who wants to learn. But it's just whether he can stick to what we're telling but Johnny is he's impro- like he's probably one of the most improved, I think. Yeah. Um, I think what I like most about Jack is uh since he's since he's sort of committed to this, he's been here every session. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Session. No. no, he's um and, and he, when he's here, like you know, obviously he, walk, he came in the gym the first time, first time he sparred, he was put on his ass. Second time he sparred, yeah. he's put on his ass, and he's still yeah, he still got back up, he's still carried on the round, mm-hmm. he's still fucking turned up next week. Yeah. Tried again. And he wants to go back in there and he, what keeps wanting Yeah, it. he keeps fucking wanting wants it. it. So, I mean, we you, you, you both know yourself and, and me that when you're in the ring, they come that third round, yeah. you, it don't matter how fit you are, because of the, cause of the so nervous tension, the adrenaline, adrenaline you're goes, fucking knackered. Yeah, so knackered. if Johnny does get in that third round and he's knackered, you've got, you got to think that Jack is going to yeah. want him more. The way he's, you know, he's, yeah. he's turned up yeah. the very session after, after the setbacks he's had. So I think, yeah, it's, I think if it does go three... Jack's got a hell of a chance, but yeah. um, I do think Johnny's hand speed is f- so good for someone his size. And Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened there. Technical glitch. <laughs> I don't even know if they build a year on me. I don't know, but mm. uh, yeah, a slight technical glitch, guys. We're back. So, uh, yeah, uh, first of all, then I'll come to you, Kyle. Uh, prediction for the fight? I don't see it going past second. If it does, like, like you said, Jack will be more reserved with his energy and then just pick him off on a third and win it by points. But Johnny's just too fast. With his hands being too fast, he hits really, really hard. And I don't think... And he'll apply the pressure as well. And if he keeps applying the pressure, I don't think Jack will be able to deal with the pressure. So you're going Johnny KO, yeah? Johnny. Chris, what do you think? I think, like, Johnny's got a very good chance if he can catch him early. But I do think if Jack, like he has been listening to me and sticks to what we've been talking about and can grind out the, th- the last three rounds, I reckon he's going to want it more, maybe. And Jack on points. Okay, boys, nice. I'm going to go uh, Johnny Stoppage. But I think if he doesn't get a stoppage, Jack could come into it, definitely. Uh, so moving on then, uh, this will be a fucking good fight. Um, Jordan Davis versus Zach Forbes. It's uh, an interesting one, this one. Yeah, so <laughs> Zach has obviously made a few enemies during the camp because he's uh, not afraid to say his mind, should we speak? But he's a lovely uh, should we boy, say? Lad. But um, Yeah, he is a lovely guy. I, I get on with him great, yeah. but um, I know Jacob's had a phone up with him and a few others. <laughs> um, but... But to be honest, him and his opponent have been quite respectful yeah. of each other. Um, very similar. I think Jordan's probably got, well, he has got more experience. He's had three bouts. He has lost all three. However, they've been against good boys. Yeah. Um, I think, I would say the one advantage Zach has is that he's had a full camp, but he's missed a lot of it, obviously, with the birth of his um, babies. Um, and, and obviously, Jordan's taken the fight late. Uh I think on paper you'd have to say this is Jordan's best chance of a win, um, being Zach's first fight. Oh, Zach's game though. Yeah. Zach's gonna come. Game oh yeah, as and he's come. confident, and, yeah. and that's hard to break when someone believes that they're gonna win, mm. um, and they they're not afraid to get in there and, and have a fucking gun fight. No. It's yeah, it's it's gonna be an interesting yeah. one. So uh, Chris, starting with you then, how how do you see it go in? What's your prediction? I can hundred percent see Zach come flying up the corner. Swing in, and he's got, he will try and take Jordan out within that first round. When all the crowd are going to be there cheering him on, he's going go to get involved. Yeah, it's hard. He's, when you hear the crowd, yeah, it's hard to stop. It's hard not yeah, to. Yeah. Um, the adrenaline's already yeah. kicked in. By and him. again, I think Jordan's smart enough as well to not get involved in that, stick to the basics. And I reckon I can see Jordan just picking him off, come to the second and third round. But again, 
when the energy's going and all the crowds are going, that might keep Zach going for three full rounds. So that is, that's a problem. Do you think Jordan can stop 50. Zach? I don't see. I, I don't see any of them stopping any of them. No. I think it's going to go to points and it's going to turn out to that third round, and whoever wants it more is going to get it. Kyle. Personally, like I've seen Zach, I've seen a gym, and I know John personally. Anyways. You know John well, yeah. Yeah. Um, John's. Te- if you talk about John as a whole, he's technically the better boxer, as in technical wise. Zach's very raw, isn't he? Yeah, he's. No, I won't say he's so wild, he's just. Raw. Yeah, yeah, he's just. He's got. Same again, like I said, about Alex. Go that dog. Yeah. Thing is, oh. Sometimes that dog can carry you for three rounds. Yeah. And I think Zach potentially got it in him. And but I've seen like I've seen Jordan fight. Jordan fights a better fight when he fights someone technical. Mm. So I think Jordan might struggle with Zach. But it's a complete clash of styles, isn't it? Do you think Jordan could get dragged into like a Jordan, dog fight? Jordan then, will try to which one suit for, him, I don't think. Jordan won't it won't suit Jordan to go in there to try and fight the fight of Zach. Mm. Is it how much Jordan willing to listen the best corners, thing to Jordan to do is take fight on the back foot let him tire himself out but I don't see Jordan doing anything I feel him falling into it it's you know it's going to be like a hot atmosphere I just think if Jordan can keep his cool in that hot atmosphere I think he'll come out the victor because I think like you boys I think Zach's going to come out the fucking under mile an hour um, and if he does land clean on, on Jordan he has got the power to yeah. stop him I think um, but that said, I think if Jordan weathers that early storm, I don't think Zach can go three rounds personally. No. Um, from what I've seen anyway, like I say, it, it is different when you've got yeah. the crowd screaming and, and you're in that ring with all them eyes on you. It might carry him through, but I think if he goes as hard as I think he's going to go early, I think he'll he'll blow himself out and I think he'll end up being straightforward for Jordan just to pick him off. Yeah. But like I say, if he does land... Yeah. A big shot, he could get Jordan out there in the first. So it's a it's a very good fight. Yeah, that? yeah. That's an exciting one. That one. Yeah. So how, how do you see it? like points or KO? I've got or... Jordan on. He'll weather the early storm, and then come on late and pick him off through the points, second and third. I, yeah, then. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Jordan stoppage late third round stoppage. I think, like, it's hard because if Zach can land that that big right hand on him, I know Jordan. Can, Without doing what it did, I, he, he, it's like he doesn't doesn't like being punched because he's, he likes the boxing style of it, like where everything's everything's just one two, yeah, one, two yeah. left. So I can see Zach winning, but it all depends on Zach's gas tank. And like you said, yeah, yeah, I'm being much due to obviously having his twins, which is well, I don't mean that's more important. Of course, but yeah. um, I don't like to go against him. But personally, I'd say Jordan points. But I still think Yang's in there for the points. I don't think Zach gets stopped. So you think Jordan points? I think Jordan points. Okay. So next up is Niall Rudge taking on James Rowe. Obviously, James is another one who's sort of taken this fight short notice. Um, Niall has, has sort of been training up with Joe. So he was there for the first bit of camp, but he's done what well, he's going to be for sparring. I don't know, don't know who he's sparring. Um, how do you see it going? I mean, James is obviously the way I see it going. So James is is the longer fight that James, can, and he got a lovely jab. So if he can if he can keep Nile at range, Nile is technically good as well. He's te- yeah, but he's technically but short. It, 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 it all depends whether he can actually let his hands go properly. Because he didn't let his hands go no, last time. Because I sp- I sparred him in April camp because I came down to give hand with the boys who were sparring, and when I sparred him, to how we fought in the actual on fight night. Was a completely different night. Mm. He told me. He, t- he tells me. He turns up on fight night. So I just I didn't see it even on fight night. I know Kane got injury and, and Niall was better on fight night, but I still thought he struggled to let his hands go. And yeah. some people, yeah, some people are gun shy. They, they they do struggle to let their hands go. Um, and I, I just think it's think, the fear of getting punched. But then you you got to work on our fear because. He makes you a smarter boxer. Yeah. He he look technically he looks brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and he, he knows, and he knows yeah, he knows, knows exactly boxing inside out doing, right. Yeah. He's, he's, he could be very, very good. I just wonder if he is just gun shy and let, afraid to let those hands go. And if he is, I think James Rowe will he'll just pick just him pick off with a jab. Because he's what, six what? Six foot? Six yeah, foot. he's fucking, he got to be taller than I. He's six foot three, is he? Something like that. 
He's so long, as we got long arms. Nile, Nile, Nile will be good for three rounds as well. Yeah. yeah. Solid yeah. rounds. James might not be, but if, if he just picks him off the jab, yeah, he, he, he probably to, will yeah. be. The thing is, all right, you've got to think about this now with Nile. Nile's and James five, does bang as well. Yeah, yeah. Nile's 5'9", five, 5'10", five, right? Push him. Right? Respectfully, obviously. <laughs> but um, Nile's not an inside fighter. No. How I watch him, he is so, on the outside, hmm. boxing. You can't outside, you can't outside box a, a fighter who's, who's six foot fucking who's three more reach it. yeah and it's just taller it, it doesn't work you've got to you've got to get dirty and get on the inside and i don't think Niall can carry himself on the inside to beat james i've never seen him work on the inside i don't mean he can't do it i've just yeah. never seen it but he needs but him like, and joe would have obviously been working on stuff like yeah. that because joe will know that james is long he would have found that you know they would obviously told him what what he's like so I don't know. It's it's a it's an intriguing one. Yeah. Obviously, James James got nothing to lose. I mean, he's taking a fight short notice. No, you know nobody expects too much of him. Um, he's just gonna go in there for a dust step. So I don't know. Um, I think points. I can't see them being stopped unless no. James blows out and he, he can't go anymore. You know, but I don't think Nile got the power to stop him no. anyway. I don't think James. I think James is ego will carry him as well for him not to be stopped. Mm. So it would go down to points. Yeah. Like, well, I'll, I'll Nine on that. points, I reckon he might just just do enough. Just kind of fitness wise, I think that more. might yeah. Just when it comes to the end of the second, and third, I think he'll have more in the tank just to throw a bit more and just get over the line of the points. I, per- for? I personally think James because yeah, there's his short notice. He use if he uses his reach and his height at an advantage. All he has to do is keep him away with that jab. Yeah. Because then it's gonna it's gonna reset Nile every time he takes a step in. That's the thing I just don't see Nile on the outside. I don't see him being aggressive enough to sort of force his way in and and put James under the pressure he needs to to beat him or beat or beat him easy anyway. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go James some points. I think, but I wouldn't be surprised if Nile does turn up, let his hands go, and he could he could blow James away. Who knows? Um, yeah, it's an interesting one that. So next up is the first of our title fights. Um, so look, so yeah, so we've got the first answer, which is for the Scott Reese Memorial Belt. Joe Gerlach, look, Gerlach, Gerlach, is it? Yeah. Joe Gerlach versus uh, April Elizabeth. Uh, both girls obviously done a lot of work in camp. Joe is now keeping herself um, training with Jason, which is completely fine. Um, and April's doing a lot of work with her one to one now as well. So they're keeping themselves very private now. Um, which is which is good in a way. Um, keeps keeps the suspense. Up, guess, yeah. But from what you've seen in early camp, and they have sparred a couple of times early yeah. on in camp, how would you see it go in, boys? Um, well, Joe's aggressive. That can carry through a fight. She puts the pressure on. Your guard is decent. Um, and she's not afraid to throw, uh, let her go with the punches either. Um, she's got power for, for short girl. Like she's. She's not, she's not exactly like a big girl. She's really, really small, but she packs a lot of power. Petite, that's what she is. Petite, yeah. Like pocket rocket. Pocket, yeah, literally pocket rocket. April, um, April's good. Technically, pretty good. But I feel like she's, she holds back a lot. If she, if she doesn't hold back on fight night, I think it'd be a. She's different. got a good right hand, April. She, yeah, she's, she's got, got a very, very, I think. Very I good felt that because she missed a part of it, me in the chin. <laughs> so like. But I. There's Joe's gonna there, like, be fit, fit as they come. Yeah, she's April. I think April's fit for three. Yeah. though. April does a lot of work I outside think, the gym. I I think it's gonna go point Joe on points. She's just gonna completely outwork her. Be too busy for she's her. She's too scatty. Like, yeah. If she'll be in and out, in and out constantly, not giving April the time to go Joe, and breathe. Joe was um, she's sort of lovely. She doubles yeah. up on a jab. Lovely. She throws yeah. a lovely jab. My only concern with Joe is she doesn't like being it. Nah. When Steph yeah. used to put it on her, she didn't like it. She didn't but like I'll it. be honest on and April's the same well, say, as well. well. Sometimes I've seen Joe and you can see the massive improvement yeah. she's oh, made. Oh, she, she come on massively, Joe. But right? when she's under pressure and when people are landing shots, she rev- she panics a bit and reverts back to the old yeah. style. Yeah. And the old style is not not good, you know. Yeah. Where, where there's the new, where, you know, the new Joe is fantastic. Yeah. But I just wonder in that environment, in that atmosphere, when April does eventually land the right hand, because I'm sure she will at some point in the fight, 
will Joe I don't be think able to keep meaning how much it means to her I don't think she will I yeah, think she'll keep yeah. going and going and I think right. that will drive her on even more when it's right. going gets tough that will drive her on to keep going and going absolutely and but April does carry power yeah she does that's the one yeah. thing she has got to mean right so, now so it does, you know, she could be two rounds down on the scorecard like a bit like Wilder I suppose two rounds down on the scorecard but she's she still got a chance because the power that, that, that right hand could end the fight at any time mm. you know it's as, it's as simple as that yeah so um, but I personally still think that Joe will get back up. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, Joe got that dog in her. Like. So you, you, so you obviously April's in your corner. What would you be advising her then going to the third? If, if say she's two 0 down. Set, the, set, set the right hand up. So trap, set trap. Tra- set trap. Cut the ring off. Don't let, don't let her have space because that's what Joe wants. Joe wants. She wants you. She wants the space for her to walk in, to then throw, because then you're gonna catch on the way. In. Personally. April don't want her. She wants to cut, cut the ring off, put the pressure on her. So go on then, give us your prediction. What's Joe one points. points? Joe points? Yeah. If April lands that right hand early on and just keeps right landing that right hand, I think personally, it, it could, it's, 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 it's so damaging, isn't it? If you keep getting caught with the same punch. Yeah. I've seen boys when they sparred. I'm like, as soon as they get, they get caught with the same shot every time, it's frustrating. When you, fr- when you get frustrated, you make mistakes. So I, I personally see April stopping her. I stop her. So April KO. Sorry, another technical issue. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know if it's still recording now. Yeah. Still going. Right. <laughs> Sorry, guys, another technical glitch. This is telling me food's ready, probably. <laughs> uh, right. So, um, yeah, Joe, I look, I, I just, I think if Joe can stick to the game plan and where, you know, even when she's under pressure in there, stick to what she's been working on, I think she'll win on points. Um, but I do think this fight's going to be very close. I don't think we've seen the best of April in yet. Um, April's been a lot of sparring outside of here. I wouldn't be surprised if the April that turns up um, it's different next to what week is completely different to the yeah. one we've seen and she's a lot better than what we've seen um, but I think even the April we've seen in New York gives Joe a very good fight yeah. and I think it's going to be close um, I I could call it a draw I don't think it could go I don't know I couldn't I couldn't really call it one way or other I think it's a genuine 50-50 that one um, next up we have so it's not a title fight but it is the uh, contender fight for your title Chris how do you feel about that? Well, either way, they're not winning in December, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we got Reese Dixon uh, taking on Jacob Bunny. Both men unbeaten. Missed 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, both men unbeaten. Obviously, Reese beat Ben Jones, and uh, Jacob's had two fights now. Um, one on a different promotion, um, but he's won both. Uh, a lot of people thought this fight was a mismatch when it was first made. And I mean, Reese could still make it look that way. But I see Jacob in the gym, seen him since the April camp. He's obviously gone away and done another fight, come back to this camp. The improvements are just yeah, massive. It, it, massive. It, yeah, I mean, and it's consistent as well. Yeah. He's just on a consistent upward growth. Yeah. He's learning, he's had every session, he, he wants, wants to, to learn. learn. Yeah. Um, and he always gives 100%. If, if he does four rounds, he'll come out, he might have a, might have a break. And then he's asking to go back in to do more. Yeah. Like he wants to be in the ring. Um, and the more he's in there, the more comfortable he's looking. Uh, obviously, Reese um, is a fucking great boxer. Don't get me wrong. He's got a fantastic youth pedigree. Um, had lots of fights as a junior. Um, was was great against Ben. But I think this fight will be a lot closer than people think. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, I think Jacob has got a good chance of upsetting the odds. But... Kyle, you've got Jacob in your corner. You obviously work closely with Jacob outside the gym as well. Do a lot of work with him. How, how, do, you, how do you think he's going to do in this fight? Right, uh, Jacob. Yeah. Jacob's technically very good. Especially, and he got, the thing is, he got youth on his side as well. Doing, doing the legs, yeah. Yeah, doing, his fitness is there. He's a fit boy, you know. He is a fit boy. Like, I know the boy from the way, eight to ten rounds easy. I mean, I've seen it. I've done it with him. I mean, it's it's last. His fitness is his strong point. Does have a heavy arms to him. I say that, and he's not scared to work the body, which a lot of people 
effect, like, especially like, white collar. Like, yeah. A lot of, a lot, of a lot of people, but you were mixed it up. Yeah. 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 They, they want, everyone wants a knockout tonight, don't they? Yeah. Like, like, yeah, Jacob yeah. can box as well, but he can also get in there and just have a scrap as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he can do he can mix both. Yeah. He don't mind getting taking a punch. He'll look at you smiling and carry on going. Yeah. So I don't think that won't be a problem. My thing with Jacob, like 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 you said, obviously we do stuff outside of camp. We sparred a lot. Like I've seen him on my bit off, where you do catch him, he freezes sometimes. Now as in April, you catch him now, you're having a, you're having a punch back. Like yeah. yeah, he's a completely different yeah, person he's now. He's improved massively. Which I think that carry him a lot better because he knows what he expects of Reese. The fighting style of Reese, I can already see it come in. It's gonna come out under man and other. Yeah, he's he's boxed before, but. Uh, he wants to take Jacob's head off. He wants to make a statement Martin because he wants Bristol. Do, do you think, obviously, there's been words between the two. I think Reese has blocked Jacob on Facebook. I um, don't think he was happy with a few comments, which is which is fair enough. Um, do you think that now there's a bit of personal sort of beef or dislike towards Jacob that he might he might come out and go, go yeah. for the knockout early because he wants to hurt yeah. him? Um and do you think that might backfire because he hasn't had a you know an ideal camp? Personally, if I think if he comes up like that, I personally see Jacob beating him. I think he's too experienced to do that myself. Yeah, per- I yeah, I think he, that's I one think, thing that he's yeah. got going. Yeah, but that's I'll be honest, the Jacob's dangled that hook out to him, mm. and every time he's bit, and I, he, he seems all calm on Facebook saying it's all banter, but then he'll put a different post up saying I'm going to put and basically taking his boy's head off. You can't say it's all banter and you're taking it as banter if you're going to react like that. But, so I personally think rent free, Jacob's in his head. And if he comes out like that, Jacob's going to catch him. And Jake, the thing is, you've got to think about Jacob can hit that hard anyway. You're coming in on the, If he rushes in onto our punch, that punch is going to feel a lot harder than it is if he was just standing there trying to box him. Do so you think he might walk on the one? I think he's, he's going to walk on to one of Jacob's punches and he's going to realise, oh, fuck it up. It's. I need to sort my head out because it'd be a long night for him. If 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 he tries, if he doesn't box Jacob, and I'm not even saying that because J- me and Jacob, I'm saying I personally, as professional as I can say, Jacob, is going to box him. He ain't going to he ain't going to rush into a fight because he knows the best way to beat <laughs> is if he boxes him. But then, if so you, I don't you think, think, that's, you I think, think that's Jacob's right. going to shock if, the world? Kyle? I think if Jacob gets into a fight, there may be more chance of getting a win because he's going to tire him out more. I think if he goes to boxing, Reese is experienced enough to pick, pick, him off. pick and choose yeah. what he wants to do. Whereas if he drags him into something, I think he's got more of a chance of landing something, la- tiring him out. You look at Reese's last fight, though. That's what I mean. He picked wild. him off. He wild. wasn't. He picked, uh, he, he, wild. I don't know if you can call him wild. He picked him uh, off and chose, yeah. his, chose his moments to throw rather than his he legs. His legs ain't under him as much as he, he should be. Yeah. But, that's I, not but that's the thing for Jacob, Jacob's yeah. legs ain't like that either. Yeah. So I'll be honest, this is... I thought Reese put in a great performance against Bear. I thought he was tactically spot yeah. on. That's what I mean, he used his experience so, enough yeah, to get him through what he Because there was a like, few words in, involved in that. So, you know, and, and he didn't sort of let that get to him. He was still mm. tactically spot on. He's obviously got Tony coming into his corner as well, which is That'd a massive, a massive, 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 massive advantage as well. I know uh, Joe's going to... Um, Jacob's gonna have Joe Morgan, so that they, they couldn't ask for better no, corners, no. really, with you two in in there as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, look, it it could be a case of because Jacob's improved so much, we're forgetting how good Reese is, um, mm. and it could be that Reese just puts on a fucking masterclass and schools him. Uh, I personally think Jacob will prove a lot of people wrong. I don't think he'll win. I think Reese will win on points. I think but he'll I think, a very good show. But I think and Jacob get, will gain a lot of respect. Will do his yeah, do himself proud. I think there'll be respect between both men at the end. But I do see Reese getting the job done because I know how much he wants the title and I know how much he wants to face his friend Chris Bristow. Um, I got that. I've got just the experience of Reese's side just to not get drawn into silly stuff. Yeah, and just yeah. he'll just make. Do that way to get him back. But, again, how much but, I um, rate but, Jacob as a fighter, I think he'll gain even more fans but, after this. Yeah, Jacob's had a, Jacob's had an ideal camp. Yeah, he's been, he, he couldn't ask for an ideal yeah. camp. So it, it you could it could prove yeah. the deciding factor, but you know it's, it's going to be a lot closer than people think. Mm. I think. Yeah. Um, oh, definitely. You know uh, the way like, he's improved. 
through comments uh, saying they can mismatch and stuff. No, I, th- no, I think they will be. Yeah. That's more. That's be, a disrespect to Jacob in my eyes. Because it's because they haven't seen him. Yeah. yeah, they haven't seen how much he's improved, yeah. and I think I think he'll shock a lot but of people. Then, like recently, been it, like recently, yeah, he's done well, one white qualified fight before us. Yeah, but he's had a lot of amateur. Yeah, but like, but that's yeah, yeah. that's when he was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the right. They're, they're saying Reese has been doing it since from a young age. He's still been doing it to this day now. But yeah, he's he had haven't. a big break. Yeah, and big I know break. what you mean. Yeah. So, yeah. like, that's not going to be. And a he's downfall. had a break from the Ben fight because when was that? That was fuck me. That was was that two years ago? Yeah, it'd I be think two it was years two December. years. Yeah. Two so years that's, that's still another two years out of the ring. Exactly. So, but uh, so that. They but I, I yeah. think Jacobs. I think with Jacob, I think they just look at Jacob and think, ah, oh, because of Reese. With his background, Jacob I'm got a fighting chance. I do oh, think Jacob got a fighting yeah. chance. Oh, definitely. Jacob's too stubborn to be stopped. No, no, he'll, he'll go to points. Jacob's no, he'll get stopped. Jacob's stubborn. He, yeah. he will not let it happen. Come on, then, give us your prediction. How, who wins? How does it end? Dixon on points, I'd go. Dixon on points for me. But close. Yeah. I don't think so. Go on, then. I'm on Jacob. Points. Jacob's going to cause an absolute upset on, on points. Points? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a really yeah, good fight. That's an exciting um, one for me, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll get well, we, with, we, oh, whoever oh. wins, we'll get you in there and have a face to face. Yeah, and we'll get some pictures done on the night as well. I'll bring my belt so they can bring see what belt, it looks like. Bring your belt, yeah. That's the closest. Okay, next up is another fucking slobber knocker for the lightweight title, Gunnar's lightweight. So I'll see if they win and you did want to, or whoever wins this, if you did want to take them on, Chris, you could be the first ever champ champ. Yeah, I guess I'm getting told. I, I, I got a walkout song for that one. Right? <laughs> I'm getting told for this one. So we got Lewis I'm Wilkinson. This is one I'm most excited for looking for this one. Yeah. Lewis Wilkinson um, taking on the very confident Kane Davis. Um, how do you see it going then? Chris first. Both of them have put in absolutely unbelievable amounts of work. Kane has done. K- Kane. I've drove he past. No stone I have drove me. past Mountain Ash Workman's at about half past eight in the morning and he's going into the gym. When most people are going to work, so either he, uh, you will not his fitness will be there. He's good at boxing. I just uh, uh, this is the best Lewis I've seen. Yeah, he's the sharpest Lewis I've seen. He looks and he's determined and he looks on point. He's just Lewis for me, and I could even scrape a late stoppage as well. I think. Think so. Yeah, just he's just sharp. His he, and yeah. his combination is powerful. They're so but, fast. And them. again, it's hard to say because we haven't seen anything of Kane sparring. No, we've seen how fit he is. Yeah, we, yeah, with, yeah the start but the sparring wise. But I, he's kept it very yeah, hush hush. Yeah, he's kept himself to himself, which anyone would do. Especially for a title fight. We, yeah. we have obviously got, like Jacob's obviously sparred the pair of them, so we've heard little yeah. things here and there. <laughs> Um, Jake of the snake. Not too much, to be fair. Not, you haven't made too much, to Jake be fair. Jake the snake. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, hey, look, if they both lose, who's yeah. to say they can't, can't fight? Well, they could fight if they both win, really, down the line. But, um, but yeah, so we've heard, obviously, a bit of, of what Kane's doing up there. Um, how do you see it going, Kyle? Obviously, you've got Kane in your corner. I know J- J- Joe Morgan will be in there as well. But, um, yeah, how do you see it going? Kane is unbelievably fit. Mm. Like, I hardly know the boy. Like, I've only met him through this camp. Yeah. But, like, I've heard of him. I've seen him about before. You've taken him on pads, well. What's he like technically? Very good technically. But his only downfall is that he doesn't move his head. Yeah. You're fighting someone like Lewis. Yeah. You're going to need to move your head. Yeah. I've never met anyone who pisses as much as Chris Bristol, by the way. <laughs> yeah. This is his third piss since the podcast started. <laughs> All he won't that is it? Well, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, look, Kane, technically, from what I've seen of him, is very good. He's very fit. He's very slick, and he likes to be, he likes to look good boxing, and, and that's what caught him out against Callum. He, he boxed Callum's head off for like a long time. fight. get involved. But he just gets a little bit complacent now and again, and Callum clipped him. Obviously, that was a year and a half ago, whatever it was. Plus, he was off balance as well. Yeah, and, and he's going to be 10 times better now because he's been working with Joe for so long. He's going to be a much, much better fighter. I just think Lewis, his speed, is he's just so he's fucking rapid. fast and he throws so many combinations. Like, he's, he's hitting boys in the air five or six times before they've even thrown a fucking shot. Yeah, and he's out. And he's gone. <laughs> and he's no in, you know what I mean? He's, like he's, he's teleporting. In, throws five shot combination and then he's gone mm-hmm. and it's like fuck it he looks so good at the minute and and maybe uh, it's sort of a bias because we haven't seen Kane we don't know how good he's looking yeah. but all we can do is talk about 
the what people we've seen. We've seen. Yeah. And Lewis is this it's the best Lewis. Kane thinks I'm winding him up in a group chat, but I promise yeah. you, this is the best Lewis yeah. I've ever seen. And it's going to take a fucking monumental performance from Kane to beat him, I think, because hmm. he looks so determined. He the wants Lewis it. I watched in the Art of Sevens. So yeah, he took that short out. notice, you know, yeah. what I mean? and and I was oh, getting a good boy, <laughs> good boy, um, and he, and he and he got dropped in the second with a, with a body shot, but he came back and won, and won the third. You know that shows the heart in him as well. He's a dog. Um, I think this fight's going to be potential fight of the night. Yeah, this is, I'm, this is one I'm most looking it's, forward to. This this is one. I mean, when you look at white collar, you think novice boxers, but both of this these boys, both of these boys, this could be an amateur bout. Yeah. It could be. 100%. You know, they're both tremendous boxers. So, moving on then, Kyle, who wins? How do they win? Right. Like, it's hard, like, like you said, it's hard to pick because I've barely seen anything of Kane, only his fitness side. I've seen a lot of Lewis and fitness. They're both fucking at their peak fitness, I think. They can both get three rounds. Yeah. Oh, Kane, yeah. Kane can be fit for 12. But it, and, and as so long as Lewis is fit for three, does it matter? Does no, it's no Lewis different. Lewis is fit for more than that anyway. But oh, yeah, he is. I, I don't like Lewis has speed on his side. I don't want to write Kane off. But if it's a boxing match, Lewis wins. Boots, so you, yeah. Well, how do you see it? Like, I think again, from what we've seen, because we haven't seen Kane a lot, I just think Lewis is just going to overwhelm him in a later round, and it could have, it's going to be Lewis points or could be a late stoppage, just over, just overworking him and just getting on top of him. Could, could Kane potentially catch him on the way in? No, Lewis is doing an out for that. I think. Yeah, he is hard, Lewis is hard, Yeah, I, I'm going to go Lewis on points. Um, I just think. Like I say, it's because we haven't seen Kane. We don't yeah. know how good he is, and he could, he could turn up and be phenomenal. Yeah. You but know. this is the most for me the most exciting fight for the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's because the unknown yeah. factor as well, isn't it? It's, and it's they're both fight. extremely fit, both extremely good. Yeah, and they both technically know what they're doing. They're both technically sound. They're both fit. So it's. And again, no, Where, whoever wins so. it deserves to be. Yeah, hundred percent. Because it's, it's, the, right, it's, right, it's, it's a, the best version of both of them. Yeah, as well. it's the right fight for me. I mean, you can't fault the boys. There'll be no excuses. Okay, um, next up then, a rearranged uh, female title fight. So this is the first ever female title. Lovely looking belt as well. Pink, stunner. Um, obviously, Kim Williams was originally going to take on Pearl in a rematch, um, which, I mean, the first fight was, was fantastic. The build-up was, was great. Um, Kim, unfortunately, injured a hand. So a good friend, Kerry Potter, who's had a couple of fights now for us, um, I think she's won. I think she had made four fights, won three, lost one. Um, she's obviously very, very good. She stepped in. Um, how would you see it go in? Um, well, I worked alongside Pearl and Kerry. Um, sparred Pearl more than Kerry. Pearl, compared to the last Gurnos fight, is a lot better again. Fitness seems to be a lot better, but she's technically a lot more better now. She moves her head a lot she's more. Been, she's been working um, with, with somebody. Reason. I don't know. Somewhere down there. Oh, some, no, that's some somewhere. female amateur oh, no, fighter. Female one, yeah. yeah. And she's got a lot better. If Pearl boxes how she boxes now, and how she even boxes me when she spars me, be a big problem for Kerry, but Kerry packs a lot of power. Kerry's been doing a few bits with Lee Selby yeah. you now as well. I have so seen, yeah. That's, fucking, yeah. You, don't, you don't get much better. No. Do you know what no. I mean? So, and if she goes, it's, that, again, that, if she gives Pearl time and space to do what she wants, then it will be a long night, but there's ways we can get around that. I mean, you've got to give Kerry credit because she goes through oh, a lot. She she does. In, you she? know, outside of the ring. Um, yeah. And it, she, she doesn't let her stop. No. Stop her. She comes down here, she puts the work in, she takes these fights a lot of, well, a couple of times at short notice now. Um and she's just fucking game. Like yeah. she's she's ready to get and in. And she's here. good as well. She's she, good. Yeah, she's got a she's better good. right hand than a lot of men. Yeah, <laughs> fuck I. Um the only thing like it was, you know, she used to th- sometimes throw two punches or try and throw the left before she's quite yeah. old. Like right a quite good old. Oh, she's, yeah. she's not but she's like, been working she's, on yeah, that now and, and I she took looks, her on the pads looks and she looks sharp. Yeah, she looks yeah. good. My only my only concern I suppose would be Pearl's had a perfect camp. Um, Kerry obviously was was sort of half in 
at the start, fight, yeah. and then it was only since when you know when she found out she was taking this fight that she sort of upped the training, and she's been putting a lot of work in now. But do you think she's fit enough to go yeah. the distance yeah. at yeah. a high pace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I do. Yeah. I think, I think it's a pretty close fight. Yeah. Oh, that's a. I think that's a genuine fifty-fifty fight. So let's let's um, uh, who wins and how end Chris first. Well, I'm not gonna tell you the game plan, like, but yeah. carry on points. I've got. I just think if we do the right things early on, then I think and the engine's there for the three. I think she'll just nick you, it two to think, one in rounds. Do you think any fight's got the power to stop the other, or can you see it? Guaranteed points. No, I, I, th- I it's, think it's, it's going to be points. points. I've yeah. seen both of the girls take punches in here from boys, and none of them they both sm- they smile yeah. at you if anything and yeah. just go, "Yeah, can I keep coming?" I so I I just I've got carry on points now. Carry on points. Kyle yeah. wins and how? Pull on points due to the fact of if she sticks a jab up like she fought Kim, it's going to be a long night for um, Carrie because every time she's coming in, she's going to have a jab in her face, and Pearl is actually following up. I tell you one thing Pearl has improved is her head movement and, exactly. and slipping shots. She's a lot better at them. She um, mixes it up well now as well. Yeah. well. Up to the head, she, down to the body, yeah. up to the head. She's re- it, Pearl good. is another one. M- improvement is absolutely massive. Compared to what she was yeah, doing. Yeah, it's absolutely. She's, she's here every training, well, a lot of the training sessions. She wants to learn. She's asking me questions outside. The, mm-hmm. Like When everyone else is doing their thing, she'll, why, how can I do this? How can I do that? She wants to learn. She wants to get she's better. She's eager. Yeah. I, I think this comes down to who has the game plan yeah. right on the night. I think it's that close. I think, yeah, whoever gets the game plan right and, and is able to stay cool in that atmosphere mm-hmm. under the pressure will win. That's, that's how I see it. Um, so next up then, obviously this one has been very much back and forth with the words. A lot of uh, kicked right off at one stage <laughs> uh, when Steven on his bender, but um, he's apologised, obviously that's not him. Um, but how do we see it going? Steve Cranton versus Corey Bunny. This is obviously Corey Bunny's second bite of the cherry at the title. He felt he was hard done by losing to Johnny Jones last time out. Um, Steve has obviously come off the win against Shaz. Would have learned a lot from that fight. How do you see it going, Kyle? Right. Me and Corey, uh, like we're, we're, we're close mates anyways. So even outside the ring, we'll be sat in the house. We're, we're trying to spring at each other anyway. So, <laughs> like... Like I work, I work a lot alongside Corey, especially like, like obviously Corey and Jake are the brothers. Like, sparred a lot with Steve, as like I think for improvement wise, he have improved, and like I've seen it myself because I've been in here with him. Steve comes out all guns blazing, Corey will pick him off. Steve technically needs to turn it into a fight to beat him. Mm. Like Johnny did in the third. Yeah. Go going by their sparring sessions over the year, over the last few months. Um, I think this is going to be a slugfest from yeah. the, the first. I, only well, I thought that with Johnny and Corey, but none of them. But yeah, Johnny and Corey, yeah, jo- did, none Johnny of them threw a, a punch bit... really until the third round, and then it sort of opened up. Then jo- Johnny learned a lot from the Chris Gregory loss because he he went gonna yeah. win our fight, then he got and he got caught. Right. So Corey, in fact, then he didn't throw as much as I, what I was expecting him to throw. I don't know where he's hesitant or what was going to come Maybe, back. Maybe, yeah, because obviously I, again, Johnny's like, powers. Like this way, power. I think they've both got the reasons why they want to win. And this could just, uh, the bell goes and it's just all oh, hell. It's going to break I, loose. I think it's this just is going to be an absolute be slug vest for a fucking dog fight from yeah. the first bell to the last bell. And, turn it and I think it's going to be a nightmare for Roger to score. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be a fucking unbelievable all, fight for the fans it's, to watch. It's going to be all down to It's going to get people on standing on tables. Oh, one it's, of them. it's just going to be 100% from the get-go. It's going to be an unbelievable fight. Um, what Exactly what White Collar should be about. Yeah. Just yeah. two boys going for it. Um, and, and and then respect afterwards. Yeah. And, and, and all love, you know. But go on, uh, Chris, how do you see it going? So, winner and how? I reckon Steve wants it that bad he's just gonna well, but, but they're both is just gonna do exactly what they both wanna do go in there just they're not gonna listen all, no <laughs> no, 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 no we're gonna listen to anything we say as soon as one lands the other one's gonna get red yeah, as soon as that one lands he's gonna go red it's just gonna be a complete slugfest and I think uh, Steve's gonna want it that much more in the end do you think Steve, so, uh, Steve is the fitter man now? no no I, I, I he's training I, a lot yeah it's true oh yeah he is his fitness now is much better than what he was. Yeah, Charles. both as fit as but each other. Corey's deceivingly fit. He probably, Corey goes six rounds and he'll still, still be in there going. So 
So I don't think fitness why any of them have a problem. I think it's purely going to come down to who wants it more in that third round. And I think Steve will nick it. Corey thinks he'll stop Steve with a body shot. Do you think there's any weakness to Steve in the body? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think... When, when, it, when the bell comes, I don't think anyone's going to throw a body shot. I think it's just going to be an absolute head hunt in the slugfest. I personally think different. I generally think Corey's going to end for a body shot. And I think he's stopping with a body shot. Do you think Steve's got a weakness there? Eh? Absolutely. Because you can't... Like, I've caught him and... Well, Look at April. He called it a nut shot. I hit him straight in the liver. And he went, he sat he his spirit. Well, Bodies, no one likes a body so shot. So you think Corey stop him or do you think Corey can, no. Um, I personally think Corey got in there to stop him. But St- Steve's stubborn as well. But I, I do what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my gut. Uh, he stops him in a second. And you go in Steve points. Nice boy. So we move on now to the main event of the evening which was meant to be Rob Powell versus Dan Morgan. Rob said he picked up a shoulder injury. Don't know uh, how bad he was or whether he was just didn't quite put the training in because he, <laughs> he does like a pint old Rob. <laughs> um, so I don't know whether it was just a case of he thought, you know why I, I can't go three rounds. Dan has obviously been training hard and he just didn't, didn't want it or he wanted more time. So perhaps he'll, he'll come back in the future. But fair play to Morgan leg. Um, I mentioned that it was a it was a possibility a couple of weeks ago, um, and he he texted me later that night said I won I won that fight if that fight's available I don't fight anybody else I won that shot of the title um, I got nothing to lose I won it so I think that just shows yeah, how, how, how much it yeah, wants how much he, he wants doesn't it. fear Dan in, oh, any, no. in any way shape or form they've been having a bit of back and forth mm. in the group chat um, but I don't think I think Morgan. I think I think what what's happened is a lot of people have written more off. Yeah, doubt, and that's and, and that, can go, more. that can go two ways. You can either think, well, oh, nobody really thinks I'm going to win, and they can sort of dampen your spirits a little bit, or you can use it as fuel to really ignite yourself and fucking train your bollocks off. And I think it's had that effect on Morgan. I think it's lit a fire in his stomach. He wants to pro- prove people wrong. He wants to cause the upset, and he wants to take that belt home. Um, and I think the more I watch of Morgan the more chance I think he got. I was a bit hesitant about making the fight at first because I did think Dan was, was perhaps a level above. But since then, I've not seen Dan. <laughs> so I don't know whether he's... I know he's been bad. He might, I don't know. I don't know. He's had a chest infection. But I don't know if he's sort of thinking Morgan's easier fight. Um, but Morgan's impressing me. He's, yeah. he's mixing he's got it power up. power in his hands he's got, and, and when he... Yeah, fuck me. We've seen him when he was Steve. He, when he finally let his hands yeah. go. It, it reminds me a lot of Sam McIntyre. Yeah. Sam had all this power in his hands, but he just would not let his hands no. go. And eventually, he yeah. did, and he was fucking unbelievable. Um, and I think we could see that from Morgan. Whether it's enough to beat Dan, I don't know, pass. because Dan is very, very, yeah. very good. Um, and a fight I would love to see is a fit Dan Morgan versus a fit Luke Jones in the Gurnos for the title. But if Morgan upsets the apple cart, then he has every right to fucking yeah. go on and defend his title. And like I said, I like Morgan. And I think the more I watch of him, the more chance I think he's got. But um, how do you see it, Chris? I think Dan is a very good boxer. I think he's a lot of power in his hands. He's quick. But there's gaps with me and Morgan have spoke about which we can exploit and get him over the line. I won't say too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but well, fair enough. We've and he's got power. He could, I don't know if he tries boxing him, Dan will Dan yeah, Dan, Dan, will, Dan's Dan will, a very good boxer. Yeah, Dan yeah. will hands down win if he just tries stay on the outside jab him. That's not gonna work. But well, if we he see turns, more turns happened. into a dog fight and like you said, with that sparring with Steve when yeah. he just unloaded, that will give anyone trouble. Yeah. Because that was one of the best sparrings I've ever seen Morgan do. He got nasty. He started throwing everything, and if he turn gets that into the the Saturday, that will be one interesting fight. I think I think the doubt from people yeah, might have, might have sort more. of unleashed a beast in Morgan. Yeah. Got got him a little bit angry, a um, little bit of a chip on his shoulder, and I think I'll make him a better fighter. Yeah, spurred um, him on, I think, and he's. We've like, seen like, like Dan obviously has beaten Kyle. Um, Maybe we fetch Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we should have fetched Adam. So, Dan's also beaten Kyle. Kyle is very much a boxer, um, very, very good technical boxer. Dan beat him. Uh, but then his loss came against Gav Price, who is a very good boxer as well, but 
he's more of a rough and ready brawler wants to fucking do, do. Yeah. and I think yeah Dan struggled with that style yeah. I think if Morgan takes it to him and just fucking goes gun yeah. lets him have it turns it into a brawl a scruffy mess yeah. doesn't let Dan get comfortable it's a smaller ring as well yeah. which Dan has openly said he doesn't like then he could he could upset it he, yeah. could, he could, could run Dan very very close um, I might even beat him but I think if Morgan sort of sits off unless Dan work yeah. I think Dan will long win night, yeah. yeah I think Dan will win easily um, I, th- I think I'm gonna go for Dan, but on points. I think Morgan's gonna, gonna cause it, gonna worry him at times in there. But I think Dan will have enough class to get through it. Um, I got Morgan on points. I just we're just gonna dog it out, and he's he's got he's got that belief in him. He wants to prove that many people wrong that have already written him off that he's gonna get him over the line. Okay, I do like Dan. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I like that. Like, I got if it weren't for Dan, like my loss against Dan, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be who I am now when it comes to boxing. Like, it was, I mean, the loss I didn't even take the loss hard. It was a learning curve that I lost again. But um, <laughs> besides that, like Dan's just technically just really, he's, he's just that. really good, yeah. and he's so unpredictable. Like he's not your, your um, conventional boxer, he's so unconventional. The way his style is so different. I haven't sparred Morgan, sparred Dan. Dan's a complete boxer, complete different boxer than he was when I fought him last year. Um, I just don't see Morgan taking the win. The Dan, Dan points or KO? I think can, Dan can stop. I want to say KO stops him in the third. It's a TKO. TKO. Third, though, you think? Third. Yeah? Early third. Okay. He's going to come up. He's going to hurt him in a second. He's going to come up in the third. He's going to get hurt again. And that concludes then our our a run through of the fights. I just want to ask, boys, obviously you were in the red corner, you are in the blue corner. Are we going to have a little, little side bet between the coaches? How confident are you, boys? Shave, okay. shave each other's shave head? <laughs> uh, I'd do a beard shave. I got a double oh, chin. I'd rather my head go. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, what are we tattoo. doing then, boys? Go on. Tattoo. Tattoo. Same one. What are we going to say on it? Kyle's Brist- bitch or Bristol's bitch? There we are. Kyle's bitch or Bristol's, Bristol's bitch. bitch. There we are. Then deal, boys. We get it. Get it done. I'll pay for it. Sweet. Uh, I are. do it myself. I've got tattoo guys. No, I'm right. I'll, I'll let Josh <laughs> pay for that. <laughs> right, boys. Thank you for joining us. No uh, we look Sweet. forward to seeing you all next Saturday night. We're also, just before we go, we'll see you at the face-off on Sunday, 7pm at the Gurnos Club. Get as many of it down as possible. The atmosphere is always brilliant for the face-off. Last chance for the fighters to really get in each other's heads, um, stay each other down, uh, and a good, just a good laugh. I'm so uh, pop down, and uh, we'll see you all next Saturday. Take care. I don't know, I've got to stop it, basically.